Welcome back to Jersey Matters. Recently, we got great news from both Pfizer and Moderna about positive results from their vaccine trials. And AstraZeneca isn't far behind. In fact, their COVID-19 trials are happening right now in New Jersey. I spoke with Dr. Michael Hassman from the Hassman Research Institute in South Jersey, and he said he's looking for volunteers right now. Dr. Hassman, congratulations. Uh, before we get into the AstraZeneca trials that you're running there, uh, I'm going to talk about your research center for a second. Where is it and what is it? So we're in uh, Berlin, New Jersey, and we do clinical trials here uh, from phase one all the way on up. Uh, we do first in human trials. Uh, this is a vaccine trial we're, we're looking at right now for uh, phase three for AstraZeneca uh, for the COVID vaccine trial. So we've been doing research here for decades, and uh, we have uh, you know, multiple staff, multiple buildings that just do clinical research. And you need volunteers for this study, the AstraZeneca yes. study. Yes, thank you. Yes, uh, we are actively recruiting patients. Uh, the AstraZeneca study was, uh, as most people know, was on pause for a little bit uh, in the U.S., uh, but is actively recruiting patients for this trial. And we'll be going actually a little bit further than they initially intended. It was initially intended for 30,000 people, and they recently just increased most of the trials to 44,000 people. So yeah, AstraZeneca, the study was on track to be the first vaccine out. I remember they were talking about October for emergency use, but it was there was more than one pause, right? Well, there was a, a, the main pause that there was one uh, sort of uh, in, in England, London, the European, uh, there's a patient in London who had some problems. And so the U.S. was on pause to really reevaluate not just <clears throat> the U.S. data, <clears throat> excuse me, but the worldwide data. So their pause took longer. Um, the UK and other uh, boards uh, were already up and running uh, very quickly afterwards, and they deemed it safe to continue the trial. But the US wanted to just be a little bit, uh, I guess, safer, I'll say, um, where they wanted to look at all the data from all the trials from all the countries in the world first. And I think they you know, did a great job and that uh, the US is back up and running. Um, They've uh, finished enrolling the, the initial sub-study. So hopefully we'll get some data coming, hopefully any day or week now. And this study uh, hopefully will show some efficacy results in the next hopefully few weeks. Um, hopefully they're just as promising as the other uh, trials have been. Um, and, and, and sometimes, actually I just saw some data this morning released uh, from the AstraZeneca trial uh, that the, the, uh, the robustness of the immunogenicity is there. They just didn't do efficacy data in the earlier studies where the other trials did. So the efficacy study, that's what phase three is, how, how well it works. Um, that's what we're doing now. And does, hopefully- Does it matter? Through. I mean, does it matter that AstraZeneca isn't out yet? Is, is there a corporate competition to be the first one out? Or after a while, it really doesn't matter how many vaccines, because everybody needs vaccines. I think that's a great question. I really think they, they all have a key role. It's sort of like a flu shot. There, there's many different shots out there will we'll determine which one's best for each person. I think we're looking to see if they are better in certain age groups, uh, maybe better tolerated uh, for certain uh, ethnicities. We don't know that. We're also looking at um, w whether it'll be one shot or two shots. Uh, some may have, uh, obviously we heard about some storage issues for some. I mean, some parts of the world don't even have electricity. So uh, that'll be a major concern for this pandemic. Um, and, and we will definitely need help because you know, we're talking about hundreds of millions of doses, but there's 6 billion people in the world. You know, it's, it's going to take all the companies. I think it's going to take all of everyone's effort um, to get this uh, done. From where you are right now in the trial studies, where AstraZeneca is and that, that you're a part of, can you get a sense of when this might be concluded, when the vaccine might be available? Well, the study- if Everything goes well, excuse me. Right. The study yeah. runs a long time, you know, well into a year or two. That's what they would like. Um, but the, the emergency use uh, EUA uh, from the FDA, that they would hopefully get something um, pop with good data, obviously, maybe by the end of the year uh, or early January. I'm sure I would say definitely it'll, it'll probably be post, you know, Pfizer and Moderna, you know, by hopefully just weeks or so. But that I don't know. You know, that's just speculation. Well, well, let's get to the crux of this. Uh, you're looking for people. How do they get a hold of you? How do they get, uh, who are you looking for exactly? And how do they become part of the trials? Well, great. This is like a really 
um, well, I call a real world trial. It's, it's, it's very open to almost anyone, 18 and above at this point, and uh, almost any medical condition. And we, we'll talk to everybody um, who's interested in this. I mean, there are some exclusions, but there are very generous um, amount of inclusion criteria for patients. Um, so we're really happy if anyone can contact us at hritrials.com or the number, hopefully uh, you can read it, one 380 6565 This is a double blind study though, right? So some sure. people will get a placebo and they won't know, you won't know. Correct, I'm blinded. Uh, it is um, two thirds get the active vaccine and one third get placebo. Dr. Hasman, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, I appreciate it. Dr. Michael Hassman from the Hassman Research Institute. When Jersey Matters continues, we talk with Congressman Jeff Van Drew from South Jersey who just won a tough reelection campaign. That's next.